Here's an update for the winter storm this weekend. Here are some key points. We're still looking at heavy mountain snow and past level snow north central Idaho through northwest Montana tonight. Lookout, Marais, Lolo Passes. There's also a chance for moderate. We're also looking at moderate to heavy snow on the US 2 corridor, Happy Zen, Kyla, Columbia Falls, Marais Pass, US 12 east of Lowell to Lolo Pass. And snow begins across west central Montana and north central Idaho. On Sunday morning, we're looking at heavy snow, headquarters, Pierce, Elk River, and Idaho, east of Lowell to Lolo Pass. Increased potential for heavy wet snow, US 12, Osaka, Orofino, Kuski, Lowell. Also looking for snow and gusty winds in the Camas Prairie, which could lead to blowing snow during the day on Sunday. As the moisture plume moves south, there could be some freezing rain or drizzle across northwest Montana and some pockets. And also the Arctic front blows west of Marais Pass. For Sunday afternoon and evening, looking at heavy snow being more focused on the US 12 east of Lowell to Lolo Pass corridor. The Arctic front moves into the Flathead Valley to Mission Valley. That could cause flash freezing, blowing snow, Bad Rock and Flathead Lake. Arctic front also starts to move west across the divide in the Ovando, McDonald Pass, US 12, Highway 200 area. That will, snow intensity will increase and expecting gusty east winds. Also expecting widespread snowfall across west central Montana and also north central Idaho, except Lemhi County. Uh, still gusty winds in the Camas Prairie with some snow. And there could be a chance for mixed precip or snow across northwest Montana, mainly like Lincoln County, Highway 200, in the areas that are kind of west of where the Arctic air pushes through. Sunday night, Arctic front makes it into the Missoula Bitterroot Valleys. Phillipsburg, Anaconda, Butte could also see a flash freeze as temperatures fall, gusty north to east winds, and snow rates will increase. On Monday, the zone of moderate to heavy snow shifts northward into northwest Montana. Gusty winds, blowing snow possible around Flathead Lake. The snow changes to mixed precip or rain for lower valleys of north central Idaho. Uh, we have low confidence, but it's still possible that mixed precip could occur in west central Montana. Monday night, Moderate snowfall across northwest Montana and also moderate snowfall returns across west central Montana and snow continues in the mountains. Looking at the weather impact overview, uh, high impact across much of western Montana on Sunday and Monday. North central Idaho on Sunday, more of a moderate impact and snow could continue in Montana on Tuesday. And light snow is possible through Tuesday in west central and northwestern Montana. Here's the progression of the atmospheric river that will move over the region. This is 5 p.m. Saturday, 11 p.m. Saturday, 5 a.m. Sunday. So the plume is basically over Idaho and into west central Montana. Late morning Sunday, 5 p.m. Sunday, 11 p.m. Sunday. It's generally uh, has weakened, but it's still over, over north central Idaho into west central Montana and then it starts to shift northward on Monday morning. And it's this Sunday night and Monday morning period where you'll have this moisture plume moving over the Arctic air in place, and we could see moderate to heavy snowfall rates combined with wind in places. Here's 5 p.m. Monday, and Monday evening, the plume is over northwest Montana, west central Montana, so the snow could continue into late even Monday and then also into Tuesday morning. Where will the Arctic front stall? All right, this is showing temperatures across the region starting around 5 p.m. on Saturday. And you can see the progression of the Arctic air. So going into Sunday morning, Arctic air is coming out of Canada and it's moving over the divide uh, by the evening and Sunday night. And it stalls just along the I-90 corridor, maybe seeping into uh, the northern Bitterroot Valley, also maybe seeping towards uh, like Phillipsburg, getting all the way down towards Anaconda. And it's these areas where this Arctic boundary is going to stall that we could see either heavy snow, areas of freezing rain, and it seems like the more likely locations that might receive the freezing rain and mixed precip will be the northern Bitterroot Valley, maybe the southern Bitterroot Valley. Another area that could be susceptible for any sort of mixed precip or freezing rain will be, will be the Highway 200 corridor, Thompson Falls area, points west, maybe a few areas I-90 west of Missoula. This scenario seems a little different 
than in some other cases in that snow could be more likely along the I-90 corridor for a longer period of time and possibly less likely for freezing rain. So these are wind gusts for the area for Sunday into Sunday evening. You can see there along the divide, wind gusts uh, in the 20 to 35 mile an hour range, possibly as the Arctic air starts moving over the divide, uh, could be uh, some gusts up to 40 miles an hour, Marais Pass, uh, or maybe even slightly higher than that. And also McDonald Pass, uh, Helmville area, Garrison Junction area, so you could see gusts 25 to 35 miles an hour. At Flathead Lake, could see gusts 20 to 30 miles an hour. Uh, maybe a little higher, like Rollins, could see gusts 35 miles an hour. And this is for uh, Monday, so this would be like Sunday night and Monday. Uh, generally seeing gusts uh, 20 to 35 miles an hour along the divide. The gusts over Flathead Lake uh, are only maybe like 20 miles an hour, but that still could be enough to move some of the snow. Uh, so there could be some drifting, some blowing snow there. Bad Rock Canyon uh, and also Hellgate Canyon could see some gusty winds Sunday night. Typical sort of gust, uh, 20 to 35 miles an hour out of the east. Trying to nail down total snowfall for an event such as like this is sometimes nearly impossible for the areas where the Arctic front will waver. We have pretty high confidence that the Arctic front will move over the divide and we have decent confidence that the Arctic front will make it through the Flathead Mission Valley down to the I-90 corridor. Then it might try to retreat or erode during the day Monday. But these amounts could vary. Some locations in the Mission and Flathead Valley could get more than four to six inches. And some locations along the I-90 corridor could see more or less. Depends on if there's a lot of gusty winds, reducing the amount of snowfall, or maybe the juxtaposition of the cold air with the moisture is just not there. Also in Idaho, you know, this is a pretty decent event for the mountains, but some of the lower valleys are going to be near freezing or in the 30s, and you could have heavy wet snow for multiple hours. And places like Orofino, like we have two to three inches in there, but they could potentially get a little bit more. You know, tonight through Sunday, they could get sloppy two to six inches of snow. And Lowell, we have three to four inches there, but it could just stay snow the whole time, you know, through Monday, and Lowell could pick up 10 inches out of this. We have high confidence for the mountains, at least. For the Missoula area, when you look at the average of some of the ensemble liquid for Missoula, it's got seven tenths of liquid, which could easily be seven inches of snow if you use a 10 to one ratio. And it could vary plus or minus from that. It could be a little higher or it could be a little lower. So this is one hour snow accumulation. So let's start at 2 p.m. on Saturday, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 p.m. Saturday evening. And as you can see, Heavy snowfall lookout pass, 1.3 inches per hour rates. Uh, we're looking at close to one inch Essex to Marais Pass. The Highway 2 corridor from the Libby Airport, Happy Zinn, we're looking at close to an inch per hour rates. Also Bull Lake area, half inch to three quarter inch rates. 11 p.m. Midnight, 1 a.m. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., look at that, one and a half inches per hour at uh, Lookout Pass. Uh, really heavy snow overnight tonight. And then towards uh, 5 a.m., intensities really drop off, and that's in response to the atmospheric plume uh, shifting southward with time. And going for the rest of the morning, the snow rates will taper off. It still should be snowing lightly uh, later Sunday morning and uh, into the afternoon hours for Northwest Montana, mainly like Lickout Pass and uh, the Sealy Swan area. Let's look over Idaho starting 2 p.m. Saturday, go forward, snow rates do decrease to light snow, and then overnight Saturday night, you could see the snow rates really increase east of Lowell, Bald Mountain area to Lolo Pass. Also see snow overspreading much of the region. So this is about daybreak Sunday morning. We're looking at half inch to three quarter inch snowfall rates west of Grangeville to Cottonwood, 
Uh, also could see some moderate intensity snowfall in the lower elevations, Orofino, Osaka, Tikian, uh, one inch per hour rates, potentially uh, lull to the east. Going forward, uh, but late morning, the uh, snow intensities are still moderate in some of these areas. By Sunday afternoon, the rates increase again for, for the Highway 12 corridor towards Lolo Pass. And you can see uh, snowing for much of West Central Montana, quarter to half inch rates, uh, maybe even more towards like McDonald Pass. Okay, let's talk about the probability of freezing rain for this event. So we're looking at 6 p.m. Saturday evening. You know, there could be some pockets of freezing rain. Some of these areas like Libby to Kalispell could remain all snow. There is going to be some south winds that develop today and could warm things up a little bit. But with the plume moving over uh, late tonight, I think it should stay mostly snow. There, the Hot Springs area could see a little bit of freezing rain potential, uh, maybe between Sealy and the Condon area. Also, west of Missoula, there's a chance for some freezing rain, uh, but it could be more snow. During Sunday morning, the main moisture plume moves south, and so you kind of lose that intensity. So northwest Montana, there could be some pockets of freezing drizzle because the leftover moisture could be like the Highway 93 corridor, maybe portions of the Highway 2 corridor could see some freezing drizzle Sunday morning. Here are some uh, chances of freezing rain showing up. Columbia Falls, Kalispell. All right, here is a plot of low temperatures across the region for Sunday morning, uh, generally in the 20s, possibly around freezing, Flathead Lake, Southern Bitter Valley, and also near freezing in north central Idaho. All right, so for Monday morning, you can see much colder temperatures near the divide. 12 degrees for a low in Kalispell, uh, single digits along the divide, 14 in uh, Garrison Junction, Deer Lodge, 23 in Missoula. That could be a little colder, depending on how much cold air is able to get in here with the Arctic front. And in Idaho, it's generally... 35 degrees Orofino and Lowell, but if it's precipitating, it could actually be right, right around freezing. And here's a look for Tuesday morning. Okay, this image is showing the deviation from the forecast for low temperatures Monday morning. And you can see the I-90 corridor, there's a lot more variance or differences, uh, even down towards Deer Lodge and Butte. This kind of shows a little bit where the Arctic front probably will end up. And there's some variance in the Bitterroot Valley, like how far south will the cold air penetrate? Probably at least towards Florence and maybe into Stevensville. All right, so this is showing high temperatures for Sunday, uh, generally in the 30s across western Montana. But if it's precipitating or snowing, it's probably more like near freezing or maybe a degree or two above. Here are high temperatures for Monday, uh, showing 34 Missoula and 26 in Kalispell. So as that cold air starts to erode or starts to retreat back to the north, some areas are going to moderate. So this is looking at the departure from the forecast for high temperatures on Monday. You can see that there are a lot more solutions that could be colder in the Mission and Flathead Valley and also east of Missoula. And that's because the Arctic air could persist and stay colder in those areas. And then on Tuesday, there is some variance up towards Kalispell and Eureka. So could actually lean colder up there, especially with the fresh snow cover and there could be some snow falling as well. So this is the probability of the high temperatures being below freezing. And this is for Sunday. And you can see that uh, the Flathead Valley has a better chance of seeing high temperatures less than freezing probably because of uh, snow and uh, the Arctic starting to come in during the day Sunday. Other locations could actually see temperatures into the 30s, which could be an issue for seeing some wet roads before the Arctic comes in uh, Sunday night. And that could be a recipe for flash freeze. This is the probability of less than 32 degrees for a high on Monday. And you could see much of northwest Montana and uh, points east of uh, Missoula, could see temperatures below freezing.
Okay, one tricky aspect of forecasting these Arctic events, especially if there's an atmospheric river or plume of moisture that's moving overhead, is trying to predict how much snow is going to fall. This is a plot of the total liquid that is being forecast by the ensembles, specifically the GFS ensembles. So if you look at the average of the ensembles, if you look at the average accumulated moisture for Missoula from the GFS ensemble, it's showing close to seven tenths of liquid. If you use a 10 inches to one inch of liquid ratio, that's easily seven inches for Missoula. And if you look at the clustering of the different solutions, there's several of the members that go even higher, maybe up to eight tenths. Some places could see 10 inches out of this, plus or minus. Okay, so this is total amount of liquid forecast by the GFS ensembles for Kalispell. It has around seven tenths as well through Monday afternoon. And uh, the operational GFS only has only like four tenths. And so there's a lot of clustering for much higher amounts. And so this means like in the Mission and Flathead Valley, there could be higher amounts of snowfall than forecast, or it could even go both ways. Some may not get as much. And here is for Sam in Idaho. It's only showing like two tenths of liquid and that could be a couple inches of snow. Not much. Main focus of a lot of the precip is more to the north. So this is showing a mean of one inch of liquid for Lowell, Idaho. This is a average from the ensembles for Dvorak showing one inch of liquid through Monday. If you have any questions, give us a call at 406-329-4840.